Hi, my name is Mitch Cantor, and I am a WordPress designer and developer. You can find me online at www.studionashvegas.com or on my personal blog at www.binarychurch.com. Uh, as far as what I do, I love the world of uh, WordPress. I've been designing and developing there for 10 years. So uh, here's uh, three tips uh, that I can tell you to really get the most out of uh, your, your WordPress blog. Um, number one, and ultimately at the end of the day, this is what it comes down to, is to the, the platform itself doesn't matter unless you're writing good consistent content so even if you're a designer or a developer or a blogger or a traveler um, just having great consistent content that's written when people expect it to be written that you can always be able to point people to are gonna make the the biggest difference between not having an audience and having an audience that's that's loyal now on the technology side of it there are a couple things you can do to, to better uh, that experience um, especially with with WordPress because the one complaint people have have is that these the content management systems will get hacked or that someone will try and uh, break into them. Um, always keep your WordPress website up to date. That's going to take care of 90% of the problems that you have in that area. Um, and that includes your themes, if you can do so, and uh, your plugins as well. Uh, doing that will alleviate a lot of the problems and allow you to not have to worry so much about whether someone's going to break into your site, uh, mess up your content, uh, spam it with uh, ads, or anything like that. The final part is more of a design piece, and it's not for everybody, so to say, but it's something that as people get further into the future that they should look into, and that's to always have a uh, WordPress site that is mobile friendly. Uh, responsive design is what that's called, and it's something that allows a website to always be uh, viewable, whether you're on a mobile device, like a tablet, or uh, a desktop computer, and it basically formats the website to be the same site but a different viewing experience for each of those devices. Uh, it's something that has to be thought of as you're redoing a site or as you're designing or developing a site. Um, or it might be something that you can pick up in a theme that already has that built in. But having that responsive site means that your mobile viewers, which most people would say is anywhere from 50 to 60 percent of viewers nowadays, uh, will get the best experience and will be able to uh, utilize your site for the better. Uh, once again, my name is Mitch Cantor from StudioNashVegas.com, and you can find me on Twitter at Studio Nash Vegas or on my personal blog at, studio Nash, at binarychurch.com.